A lot of people are curious which vaccine is best to take. <laughs> yeah, so the vaccine shoppers. The best vaccine to take is the vaccine that will save your life. If you agree that you just want to save your life, then any vaccine will do that. People might say that doesn't make sense. They'll learn the numbers that I've heard. I've heard of all these numbers, you know, percents of efficacy, and you know, AstraZeneca has lower efficacy, and so does the Johnson and Johnson. What, what do those numbers mean? So the way the clinical trials work, they take two arms of people. We take people who receive a placebo, people who did not get vaccinated, and those getting the vaccine. And what they do is they test for becoming symptomatic, so developing a symptom. So you might get sniffles, you might get a fever. And if you develop a symptom, you then go and you get tested. If you test positive, you are then in that checkbox of COVID positive. You are a person who developed COVID in this clinical trial. These clinical trials will tell you, in terms of vaccine efficacy, how likely it is that the vaccine will protect you from COVID-19. That is all it's going to tell you. But what they fail to tell you is that all of them will, pre will prevent severe disease and hospitalization. So those percent efficacy numbers really don't matter in the real world, right? It doesn't really matter if I get the sniffles or not. I don't care, I just want to save my life. You know, when people say, take the first vaccine that's offered to you, I hope that makes more sense now, but maybe you can think of it this way. We're on a sinking ship right now. And if you think about it, when someone hands you a vaccine, it's like they're handing you a flotation device. So they're going to save your life. Are you going to look at that flotation device, think twice about it, analyze how it fits, how it looks, you know, how durable, how long it will last, or will you simply take the flotation device and save your life?